morning everybody what's happening what's happening i'm up early i'm on my way to glasgow because the evoke is about to have its big service seven years old timing belt so it's in for a service an mot and to get the timing belt done i'm hoping there won't be any other issues that crop up the car seems to be behaving itself at the moment so it's going to be a big enough bill without anything sprung on me so fingers crossed fingers crossed i found a good independent in glasgow glasgow is about 25 30 minutes from me found a good independent there because if you're running one of these cars outside this had a service plan for the first five years which was great value for money don't think they do that anymore probably because it was great value for money so found a good independent when i moved up here he's been servicing all my cars for the last five or six years so good news somebody kindly pointed out to me that the rattle from this panel was in fact the switch for the the roof the pan roof i've got a new switch i swapped it over and the rattle's gone silence as we drive this morning and we're there this is mb Jarvis. so so the road was closed this is my garage here we'll see what cars they've usually got some nice cars in but uh we'll see what cars they've got that's the owner's uh, range over there i'm going to drop my car off and um, be on my way So here we are, I'll drop the keys. There's the little key drop box. Uh, and then I'll be on my way. I'll catch you once the car's done. Mm. Fingers crossed. Just picked up the car, service and MOT, gone nicely. One small drawback. Unfortunately, Adam had a couple of mechanics, didn't turn in today. I didn't pry, I don't know if it was COVID related. I was masked up, so was he. So we've postponed doing the timing belt because it's a slightly more time consuming job. And uh, initially he told me he wanted the car for two days. So it would meant I would have got it back yes, uh, tomorrow. So I could have used it for work next week. It turns out it would have run into next week now. And uh, I, do, I do really need the car for next week. So we've postponed that. We'll get it done in the not too distant future. But service has gone well. Air conditioning's been topped up. MOT's been passed. No issues. So I'm happy, I think. Glanced at the bill there quickly. For all of that work, it was a shade under 400 pounds, which um, I think's okay. Brakes. Still fine, apparently. Cars at uh, around about 30,000 miles now, brakes still fine. And uh, also the, he said the tires, only one tire was below four mil. So that sounds good as well. So all in all, apart from this traffic jam that I'm now in trying to get out of Glasgow, I'm quite a happy man. Whilst I was in, in the last video i mentioned this car's achilles heel which is the um which is the uh the three bolts that hold the the steering column that, that shear and end up in ferrier now adam is a garage and he owns a range rover and he has a good reputation and people take their range rovers to him and he was telling me he has a bit of experience about these bolts now and it seems that the the cause is use so it's more mileage than age related and he says it's not corrosion it's more of a shearing effect so that's put my mind at rest a little bit uh he says it's effect where it looks like the bolts just getting just getting jammed and jammed and jarred and jarred and over and over use it's uh eventually shearing so that has put my mind at rest a little bit. My mileage isn't too bad. He's saying most cars that he's seeing with it are around about 80 to 90,000 miles. In fact, there was a Range Rover Sport in there with exactly the problem today. So that's put my mind at rest a, li a, a little bit. 
particularly because I live beside the coast, as I've mentioned, and I go on and on about it, I'll have to stop that. And the corrosive air that we have, he says it's not, it's not related to that. He also mentioned that he's seen people trying to replace the bolts and put in more substantial, I guess more, more I don't know, would they be galvanized or, or something like that? And he says it makes absolutely no difference, so don't waste your money on, a, on an aftermarket fix, if you like. So, the weather is now fabulous. My air conditioning is working lovely and cold. Once I get out of this traffic, I'm hoping to have a nice drive home, but I've timed it that I'm leaving Glasgow at half past four. So, that's the one bad bit so far today. Anyway, I hope that's helped. We'll follow the progress of trying to keep this car running. I'm gonna keep this car going and see where it takes me and uh, any tips I get along the way, any advice, hopefully that'll help everybody else, particularly if you're thinking of getting into a car like this at, uh, at uh, a reasonable price that they are now. I did do a, a review on this car, if you haven't seen it, I'll put a link somewhere, if I can, if I can't, it'll be in the comments section below. Have a look, it's interesting. If you like this, great stuff, if you can share it, even better and if you could su subscribe i would really appreciate that as well it does help generate the content does help get feedback from people like adam which helps us run our run our cars on a relatively uh, sensible budget enjoy the sunshine it looks like we're in for a few good days didn't want to end on um, such a downer Stuck in traffic, leaving Glasgow on a beautiful day like today. The car got a thumbs up from the mechanic, a mechanic that I trust implicitly. And the roof's open, the traffic's cleared. I'm on a dual carriageway now, but I can turn off this shortly in a mile or two. And I'm going to get onto the, uh, the back road and just enjoy my journey home. I'm about halfway home now, it doesn't take long to get home. Turn my music up. Just enjoy the drive. Bear London boys, can't be there. After all the crap that we've been through, today is a good day. Stay safe, everybody.